I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, to the King of all Israel. Amen. So pray the Israel. The Lord said. Okay. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Get us ready for that great day. Well, my Lord, get us ready for that great day. Tell me who shall be able to stand. Liars going to be running on that great day. Oh, liars going to be running on that great day. They were liars going to be running on that great day. Tell me who shall be able to stand for. Oh, oh, my Lord, put us ready for that great Yeah, my Lord, get us ready for that great Hey, oh, my Lord, getting us ready for the day. Tell me who shall be able to stand. All mm. oh, liars gonna be running on that way. Yeah, liars gonna be running on that way. Yeah, yeah, life's gonna be running on that train. Dang, tell me who shall be able to stand. Ooh. Oh, my Lord, be not ready for that day. Oh, my Lord, be not ready for that train.
God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. And the word of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be accepted in our sight. Yes, Lord. For the Father, we know that thou hast made us to love us and want us to be obedient to thy word. And we do believe that thou love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in mind and in heart. And lead us into thy truth and light. Yes, we shall open our lives and day according to thy will. Father, we do acknowledge thee and know if we shall keep thy commandments, I will direct our pathways in righteousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help us to be grateful for the loving guidance, which is without cost, yet yeah, yeah. makes love, joy, and peace, yeah. which cannot be brought us so long taken away. And to be still the joy, Holy Father, please add the price for mm-hmm. which you have made up. Yes, Lord. Help us to be a witness with thee, that we can truly be nothing to live and not be sick, but shall I walk in perfect health with thee. Yeah. Not in Father, charge us that with our power love, so we may be able to live eternally. And help us be worthy of thee and all of the blessings thou see for our need of. Grant us these blessings in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Me. 
When I walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, and I shall flame kill upon thee. I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt, Egypt at a ransom, Ethiopian people for thee. Since I was precious in my sight, thou hast an animal, and I love thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Run not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and guide thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, I have created for my glory. I have formed them. Yeah, I made them. Members. Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, 20 to the 28 verses. And the sixth round of writers shall be in thy hands before their eyes and said to them, Just as the Lord God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. The heathen is going to be gone. I will gather them every side and bring them to their own land. And I will make them a nation and land upon the mountains of Israel. Members. And 
And my king should be king tomorrow. There shall be no more two nations. Now she be divided into two queens anymore at all. Not the five themselves anymore with the idols. Now we've entered the testable thing. No, we've entered the transgression. But I will save them out of all the dwelling places we never sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, not be their God. Remember. And David will serve to be king over them. And they shall have one servant. They shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob my servant, wherein your father dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Remember. Well, Moreover, I will make covenant peace with them. It shall be in their last covenant with them. I'll place them and multiply them. It will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I'll be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. When my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Remember. Isaiah, 45, 16, 17, verse. Acts 13, chapter 22nd, 23rd verse. Romans 11, chapter 10, 16, verse. Yeah, listen, 6 chapter 15, 16 verses. They should be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They should go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You should not be ashamed, not confine the world without end. Remember. And when they removed him, he raised up them David to be their king, whom also he gave testimony and said, I found David, the son of Jesse, man after my own heart. We shall fulfill all my will. This man seated God and caught to his promise, praise unto Israel and Savior Jesus. Remember. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, that shall come out of Zion to deliver her, and she turn away ungodly from Jacob. Remember. <laughs> Right, Christ Jesus needs circumcision to better be anything. No circumcision, but a new creature. And as many as court as what as in as many as, as what according to this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of God. Remember. Lord God, Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be a true Israel of God. That's all. Keep in mind. And the King of Israel and we Christian to go through the prayer. Lord God of Israel. Lord God of Israel. That's what God like it to thee. And the name is great, and shall, and must be honored, for all the truths of the God. Help us to die from this world, and ourselves, and the kingdom can freely come to us. Help us to be dead to the world, and ourselves, that we might be freely willing, but that will to be done, both in our bodies and spirit. Help us to love thee. That will only be thy will to deliver us all that are hated and lead us only to that that thou lovest. Give us to teach us. So we will wait each day to see all. And if you love her, really did. And bless us and them. All oh, we love thee, thou freely give thy power to us. Help us to so love thee that we can be the true Israel of God. So that's faith, salvation, and Zion. For Israel, thy glory. These are the blessings. We ask the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Congregation, I mean, something fleshy by the choir. Rise to give mine to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I come to praise 
Cover door and have a theme of scripture reading uh, on uh, Mother Bessie Singer. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to read the theme and the lesson. Do you know the God of Israel? And the lesson is found in 2 Kings, the fifth chapter, 9 through the 15th verses, and the subject is the 14th and 15th verses. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elijah. 
And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away and said, Behold, I thought he would surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Are not Abana and far, far rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee do some great thing, would it thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he said to thee, Wash and be clean? Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. Now therefore I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. And the subject verses again are the 14th and 15th verses. Then when he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again, like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth, but in Israel. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. May the God of Israel add a blessing to the reading of the scripture. Amen. Look at our eyes. Come on to Holy Father, King of Israel. Thank you, Mother Bethany, uh, thank you for reading the theme of scripture. In this portion of the service, uh, we're going to have the deacons come up for the lesson. Uh, deacon Thomas, Deacon Reginald, and Deacon Charles. Amen. And myself. Give on the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Uh, to speak on this lesson. Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. Now therefore I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. Amen. Man, that's real powerful right there. <laughs> you know, you got to really examine yourself right there when you talk about cleansing, and he can come and say that I know. You know, that's a true testimony right there to begin with. So when you look back on your life and what the God of Israel has done to you, you know, we all should have a lot to say about that. Right. If you talk about cleaning yourself, you know what I'm saying, that's something you can never stop doing. Right. Don't think because he, you know, he gave you one blessing that you, well, you got to get another one. So, you know, we got to keep on. So as long as I keep myself clean and, and do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep my mind on the God of Israel and do what I feel like that pleases him. Man, hey, I can have a joyous, you know, relationship with him. You know, so we just got to hold on and believe and don't don't, don't ever think that we can stop cleaning ourselves. Because cleansing is something that's, that's an everyday thing. You got to clean yourself naturally every day, guess what, spiritually twice. So I hope somebody gained the thought. But truly, I rise, give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to read on the lesson. Um, can I have somebody read Psalms? 91, 14, 15, and 16, please. All right. Because he has set his love upon me. Yes. Therefore will I deliver him. Yes. I will set him on his high. Mm-hmm. Because he has known my name. Yes. 
Yes. I will be with him in trouble. Yes. I will deliver him. Yes. And honor him. Yes. With long life will I satisfy him. Yes. And show him my salvation. Yes. All right. Well, right there says a whole lot. The God of Israel wants you to be healed. The God of Israel is a healer. And name it, um, was a man of character. And so was the God of Israel, is a, is a God of character. So if God is a God of character and he wants you to be healed, and seven is a prosthetic number. So why did he use seven? Of all numbers, in the universe, he used the number seven because that's God's prophetic number. And lepers back then um, had to go through a lot. Certain places they couldn't go, certain places they could not eat, certain people they couldn't even be around. And certain things you did as a leper, you could get stoned to death. But um, God is a merciful God. Grace is sufficient. He knew that this man was a man of character and a man of honor. And a lot of times pride gets in the way. And that's what was getting in Naaman's way, his pride. Because he thought he was somebody until he ran into the God of Israel. You ain't nobody. Because you a filthy rag that need to be cleaned up. And he needed to be cleaned up. If you got lepr leprosy, that's eating you up. But here is God with the comeback. He came back and cleaned this man up to where that the man's skin was like a little child. These are children right here. Their skin is way smoother than ours. Because we didn't been through so much. But here's God told him. If you just dip yourself in this dirty water, you want to be dipped in some clean water. Where is the where is the healing? Where is the pride of you going down in this dirty water? If I'm God and I say dip yourself in this dirty water, you go down in that dirty water. Uh, of course, God know what he's doing. This man thought God was crazy. The man of God thought he was crazy. But God is not mocked and God is optimist. That means he's everywhere. He sees everything. He knows everything. And he knew exactly what this man needed to be dipped in the Jordan, in, the, in that dirty river. But I'd like to thank God for this lesson because this lesson teaches us something, to be humble with God. You got to be humble. Like you say, come to me as a little child. You can't come to God like you. Uh, I'm a major in the Army. I just been promoted, 11-11 on Veterans Day. Even though I'm a major, I have to bow down to like I'm a private when I go to God. I hope you gain a thought. Thank you. I rise. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. To say that this this is a beautiful lesson yeah. to me it's a lesson that's talking about faith belief and obedience and also that you know it's you know our god has no limits anything that he tells us and we be obedient you know to do anything that we want beyond our dreams you know and that's what i get out the lesson thank you all right amen again i rise to give honor to the holy father king of Israel. Thinking the deacons came before me, I agree with everything they said. Uh, we all talking from their heart, and we all talking about the same God. Uh, give me St. John 7, 38. And yes, uh, Psalms 1 and uh, 15th verse. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, in the house of Israel, we believe that's uh, joy, peace, health, and understanding in a, of a true living God, a better understanding of a true living God. And uh, that's our foundation of scripture. So we have to believe, first of all, that this, the God of Israel is the God to us. Uh, and read uh, Psalms 1. Let me go. Uh, 
Because I think it's a blessing to man to walk. Okay. Okay. Right. And his delight is in the law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in his law shall he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Right. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Man. All right. And godly are not so. But the light is safe, which the wind driveth away. Therefore, Of righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Right. Amen. I mean, and what I got out is that we was already chosen for birth. You know, if I got here, it was chosen for the finest of the world. It's when we were chosen, chosen people. So uh, if uh, anything uh, happened in my life that uh, wasn't good, you know, I did it. If anything happened in my life that was good, the God of Israel done it. You know, because he gave me the five senses, he gave me the ability to, to think and smell and taste. And uh, once I got that, I can't put nothing before the God of Israel. So I'm not going to prolong time. We have a great uh, lesson. And I'm in the King's time. And uh, thank each and every one of you for being patient and quiet and, and, and songs and prayers and support of our devotional service. I mean, thank you. Amen. Right. And we have a selection by the choir. He's real, he's real, Israel is real too, oh, yes, he gives me the victory, well, so many people, you know. Thank you. 
the fathers. King Arthur, thank you for having me. This is real. Me! Oh, yeah. Victory. that we do love you, we care about you, we are concerned about you. And that is one of the reasons why we take the time to come up and give you some instruction with the hope that you hear and get and that you get some understanding. One of the things I do want to share with you is please do not do drugs because there's nothing good in doing drugs. Um, the other thing is just be obedient to the ones who have rule over you. And when I say be obedient, I mean to do as they tell you to do. And if you do the things that they tell you to do, all things will be well with you. Show respect and honor. And again, with that, I mean, it's, it's no problem in saying thank you. There's nothing wrong in asking, can I help you? If you see someone who's, who's an elderly person who maybe has a bag or a purse or something and they're about to drop it, you don't have, you can ask them, is it, can you pick it up? And sometimes you don't have to ask. Sometimes it's to do way. At the end of the day, it's always do good. Trying to build you up with garbage. And with garbage, I say things that are not good. Always look for those things that are good do good and good will always follow you and you will have a happy and prosperous life. And I say peace. Right. Anytime, we're gonna call on our instruction to mother. Uh, right mother, Charlotte Smith, easy. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be instructional mother for tonight. Say, if we have any visitors, we welcome you to the Spiritual Israel Church in this army, where we teach about a true and a living God. And to say to the families of Israel, let's continue to pray for those that uh, would like to be here, they can't be here. Let's continue to pray for ourselves and for our families. Amen. And to say Happy Thanksgiving, and to say that Thanksgiving is a beautiful word, but it should be used every day. Every day when we get up, we wake up in the morning, open our eyes, and able to hit the floor, that's a happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to share it with your friends and family, especially your family. If you're close to your family, get closer. Don't be a coulda, woulda, shoulda. Stay with your family. Be right with your family. Put away the bickering and love one another. Thanksgiving should be a day, every day, a joyous occasion. Now please go with me in prayer by saying, Our Father, Our Father which art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. That's the Dixie Man door. Mrs. Man, all to stand. All to stand. We need to greet the Evangelist Bride Mother Gloria Davis, the Queen of Brother Israel. Amen. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of Israel. That's what we want to thank the Lord God of Israel for another day. Thanking Him for allowing you and I to once again present our bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to the Lord God of Israel, which is on our reasonable service. We want to thank him for our pastor, the King of Israel, thanking him for you, you, and especially you. You know what? Uh, I thank the God of Israel for the love and the closeness that we have and that we have developed.
down here. I think it's stronger than it was before we started down here. Thanking the Lord God of Israel for the feeling that I have because of it. I don't feel like we shouldn't be down here or none of that that I used to have thoughts about, not recently, but I have had. Uh, I feel comfortable where I am. And I thank the Lord God of Israel for it. Thanking him for each and every one of us being here. Right. You know what? I thank him for safe travel. If you're out there a lot, you see a lot. Uh, you have to avoid a lot sometimes. Thanking the Lord God of Israel for keeping his arms of protection around us. Keeping us safe. All right. As we make our way here to this place to give thanks and praise to his holy name. As I often say for what he's already done. Today he's already allowed us to present our bodies here, safe and sound. We're thanking him for that. And we want to be thankful to the God of Israel for the King of Israel, All right. for our pastor, amen, Bishop David. Thanking him for you, you, and especially you. Israel, let us continue to march or run on up the King's Highway in peace, joy, health, and happiness, because there is no turning back. Thank All you. Right, Amen, amen, amen. We thank you for those, for those for words of instructions that are taken to heart. I also like to thank the instruction mother and the youth instruction. We were invited to talk about the same God and what we should tonight. Amen. amen. We have a long time this time. We're going to have a selection by the choir. Amen. God is able. <laughs> God is able. Hey. Just to care, just to care. Oh, makes no difference. Yeah. 
for King Rodney Lewis and the Queen. Thank yes. God just to be out here to give God praise for what he has done for me. It does right. for me. I'm just so thankful to praise. Yes. When clap your hands, pat your feet, and if yes. you want to do it quietly, do it. Just thank the God of Israel because as the Queen said, there's not one unimportant person in the house of Israel. Yes. And love will carry us through. Yes. Remember long time. We have a beautiful speaker. Right. So tonight, we're going to uh, have a selection from the choir. And then I come back and uh, on Reverend Donald Hare, I'll present to you Reverend Donald Hare. All That's right. our selection from the choir. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, to the King of all Israel, who meals and which meals none other than Bishop Bobby Joe David being very thankful for my life, each and every one of your life, to be right back out as another Tuesday night service, jump night, and to say that I'm thankful and to see everybody out, and I've enjoyed everything I heard so far, and to say that the theme is talking about... Uh, Do you know? Here. Do do you know the God? So it's asking to me. It's asking a, a personal question there. How you feel about it? So the only way I feel that I can go on this theme is 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 the way I came since I came into the spiritual church in this army, and the things that has uh, inspired me. So we gonna uh, go to our opening script, and I just want to say that. Uh, you know, I had to get a root canal yesterday. And the last time I got a root canal, it was $400, but this time it was $1,695. So uh, evidently, they think that we got a lot of money because they gave us this money from the pandemic and everything. But I know the prices have really changed. So we're going to open up with St. John 738. And then we're going to go to, you know, I'm, I'm looking at how things that I experienced since I've been here in the spiritual church in this army, beginning with our own uh, elder uh, William Conicke over at number eight. So we're going to give a scripture in, that inspired me since I've been here in the spiritual church in this army. He, he always used to like to give this scripture Psalm 72, 17 through the 19th verse. And that was one of his favorite scriptures. And, and, and then he liked Mark 5.5, 5, but I found out that he was basically giving me that scripture. That scripture was for me. He was trying to tell me something. And, and then we're going to go from there. From, 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 from Ella Carnegie, I went to Bishop Cox. And Bishop, I learned something from each, each one of these men. In the spiritual church, Bishop Cox uh, he told me, he said, son, say you won from the family just like I was, just like I was in the spiritual church in this army. And then we went on from there, from Bishop Cox to Bishop Haywood, and, and, and we're going to get uh, for him Jeremiah 16, 6, 16. And then from there, we went to Bishop Bobby, who is the man of God in this generation, our favorite scripture, Romans 15 and 4. And then we're going to come back to Isaiah 35 and 8. This is stuff that I've learned, that the God of Israel, so that we, we, we didn't have no way but to get this thing right on account of the way he set it up for us in Deuteronomy 18, chapter 15, 18, and 22. And then from there, we're going to go a little bit with the, our subject verse. We're going to go into naming, and I'm going to say I heard a lot of things about this. Uh, Mother Clara says she joined the church under this scripture. In, in 2 Kings 5, uh, the subject verse, those, what is it? Two, two verses, then we're going we're gonna to come back to a, a, a somewhat of a, a, a prayer. This is First Chronicles 17, chapter 20 through 24th verse. Now, but Naaman, uh, Elijah, he, he didn't only send uh, Naaman seven times. He had sent somebody else seven times. That's when he, had, he was wanting to get it to rain again. He had to send them seven times. That was in First Kings, the 18th chapter. 43 through the 44th verse. And then we're going to come back to, I gave you First Chronicles. We're going to come back to 
Ephesians, the fourth chapter, 22nd through the 29th verse. And then do the running. We're talking about the word. The, what, I, what, what I got from the God of Israel was his word. Do the running, the 30th chapter, 10th through the 20th verse. And then we we going to recognize uh, Bishop Bob again. John, the 15th chapter, 3 through the 7th verse. St. John, 15, 3 through 7. That's for the Father. 2 Corinthians, 6. 16 through 18. That's talking about the Father also in Matthew 20, 4, and 16. And our closing scripture is going to be Matthew 11 and 6. And I just want to say that uh, it was a, a, a lot of people, was, uh, somebody else was supposed to have been speaking tonight, but apparently <laughs> they're not here. But I think I got enough scripture for 15 minutes. So let's go with our opening scripture here. He that believes for me, uh -huh. as the scripture has said, right. out of his belly uh -huh. shall flow right. rivers of oh. living water. I'm asking you to believe it according to the scripture, and this is what I've been taught in Israel. This is what we got to go by. It's what the scripture is saying. I think Bishop Dixon, he made a, a wise choice by giving us this for op opening scripture. And the next one says, what? His name shall endure forever. Now, this, this is the Elkanagy. And I feel the same way. This I learned a lot from this. His okay. name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. Right. And you see the sun is still shining. And so we know that the God of Israel is still in charge. Read. And men shall be blessed in him. Who? And men shall be blessed in him. Men and women. Don't leave them out. Right. They're going to be blessed too because the women is carrying a lot of weight here in the church also. And, and, and read. All nations shall call him blessed. Everybody going to call him blessed. Yeah, blessed be the Lord God, uh -huh. God of Israel, right. who only doeth wondrous things. He only do wondrous things. He don't, ain't nothing bad about the God of Israel. And the next one says what? And blessed be his glorious name forever. Okay. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. Amen. All right. Now, our next scripture says what? We and always, <laughs> night and day. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we ain't going to read that. That was something for me. That Mark 5, 5, he was trying to tell me something. But the next one after that. It's what? This is uh, in recognition of Bishop Haywood, Jeremiah 6, 16. Now, this is where I was at. I was in all kind of different ways. Man, we was going to all them different churches and everything. That's said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Stand ye in the way. Stand ye in the way. And see. And see. And ask for the old path. Now ask for the old path. Where is the good way? Where is the good way? And walk therein. Mm -hmm. And then when I found that out, when I came to the spiritual church in this under on the Bishop Haywood, this is what I found out. And the next one says what? But whatsoever things were written the four times. Now, this is just me. The Bible is like that road map that I used to use when I was driving that truck. All this stuff was written before our time. We're written for our learning. But it, it's for our learning. If you, if you take this Bible, you can't, you're going you're gonna to learn something. And what do it say? That we, through patience uh -huh. and comfort of the scripture, right. might have hope. Yeah, we got to have some hope going this way. And the next one says what? And the and and highway shall be there. Now it's going to be a highway there. This and is a, one of the ways. Read. And a way. And a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Uh huh. The unclean shall not pass over it. Right. But it shall be for those. Uh huh. The wayfaring man. Right. So fools shall not err therein. Right. And this is how the God of Israel set it up in Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18, and 22. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet. See, now, even the fool, neither the way sharing man can err because right. it's the God of real fixed it. He said he did what? The Lord thy God uh -huh. will raise up unto thee a prophet right. from the midst of thee. Right. We can't go get Steph Dollar, TJ Jake, but none of them guys. We got to get the man that was raised up from among us, the next man in line. In the, and the God of River, he, he fixed that thing. He fixed it. But we're going to have the right one 
Every time, baby, we're going to have the right one. And what do it say? Of thy brethren. Uh huh. Like now he's just he he was just one of us. I came in as a late member. Read until him ye shall hearken. Uh huh. All right. All right. All right. And, I will raise them up a prophet. Uh huh. From among their brethren. Right. Like unto thee. Right. And, and and I don't know who else would be the next man in charge of the bishop. Read. And will put my words in his mouth. Uh huh. And the, the God of Israel is really telling him something. Read. Right. And he shall speak unto them all, all right. that I shall command him. And he's telling us what to do. And we better pay attention to what he's saying. It might might not. It might seem simple to you, cause I heard uh, him say that uh, the toothpick man, Elder Elder Grace, he only had a sixth grade education, but he knew a whole lot. He taught Bishop Bobby a whole lot. Read. When a prophet right. speaketh in the name of the Lord, uh huh, if the thing follow not, uh huh, nor come to pass, right, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, right. But, but we read, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, right. There's now, a lot of stuff being said. Look at look at uh, that I heard on the news about these guys trying to pay their taxes. These guys that had accumulated all this stuff when they were getting all them bushes of Basket full of money, like Joel Old Spring. He got a coliseum down there in Texas, full of people. But he, when Katrina come, he wouldn't open up his doors and let them people come in that coliseum. He kept them out of there. This Joel, and what do it say? Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Don't be afraid. Read. Then when he down. Okay, this is our subject verse. And this is a very powerful thing here because this man had so much power, he didn't have to do nothing, but he sent his word. And they said this was the, he was sent by a little nappy, Ethi headed Ethiopian girl went and told Naaman this stuff. And he didn't want to hear this, but he, and he said, what? Then went she down. But when he did. And dipped himself seven times in Jordan, uh -huh. according to the saying of the man of God. Right. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child. Right. And he was clean. Right. And he returned to the man of God, uh -huh. he and all his company. All right. And came and stood before him. Right. And he said, Behold, now I know that there's no God in all the earth but in Israel. And this is the thing that I've learned. This right. this, this just really inspired me because uh, this guy, Elijah, he was taken up. And, and he lost saw wanted his, some of his power, so he told him, if you see, keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on the prize. And if you see me when I go up, you can have just what I had. And they said his mantle fell back to the ground, and Elisha got it, and he, had, he was able to do some of the same thing that Elijah was doing. And, and, and not only did he send him that uh, seven times for Naaman, he sent him to, Send him seven times to get it to rain again. Too. I don't know. It's something about that seven. That's a highly spiritual number. And I learned that from Mother Rose. The seven is one of the most highly spiritual number that is. And it's the, it speak about the seven churches, the seven candlesticks, and everything. But that seven is a powerful number. Read. Oh, Lord. Uh huh. There is none like thee. Right. Neither is there any God beside thee. Right. Amen. According to all that we have heard with our ears. Right. We now we all this stuff we heard before, but we never heard nothing like this, really. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, Israel. Right. It ain't but a it ain't but a few of us, right. you know, but still it ain't nobody like us what we right. say. Whom right. God sent, who, who God went to redeem. To be his own people. Right. And see, we belong to the God of Israel. It might not be many of us, but we still belong to the God of Israel. What do we say? To make thee a name of greatness and uh, terribleness. Uh-huh. By driving our nations from before thy people. Right. Whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. Right. See, we get that it all started back in Egypt, but now we here in the United States of America and, and he's still redeeming us. What do we say? For thy people Israel, didst thou make thine own people forever? Right. right. He, the God of Israel made us for his people forever. It ain't just for some time, a part time, but it's forever, read. And thou, uh -huh. Lord, became his their God? Yeah. 
Therefore now, Lord, uh -huh. let the thing that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant uh -huh. and concerning his house be established forever. Right. right. And that, that's yeah. what the God of Israel done done. This, this thing ain't in the reach. And do as thou hast said. Uh huh. Let it be established. Right. That thy name may be magnified forever. Yeah, this thing is going to go on forever. It ain't going to stop. Read. Same. Uh huh. The Lord of hosts. Right. It's the God of Israel. That's, it. That's him. Right. And what do the nation? We're coming, we coming on down to the end here so and we can get out the and way. He said to his servant, uh -huh. Go up now, look towards the sea. Right. And he went up and looked and said, this is the second time that he sent. There is nothing. Uh -huh. And he said, go again seven times. Yeah, go seven times. And it came to pass after the seventh time uh -huh. that he said, uh -huh. Behold, there arises a little cloud out of the sea, right. like a man's hand. Right, and that's and, when it, and then it got ready to rain. But he didn't, it didn't do it until he sent him seven times. I'm telling you, that's something very powerful about that number seven. And what do it say? And he said, go up, uh -huh. say unto Ahab, prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, right. that the rain stop thee now. Yeah, because the, the abundance of rain right. was coming. Elijah knew that when that cloud came up out of that sea, take like a man's right hand, that it was getting ready to rain. Right. And what do the next one say? That ye put off concerning the former conversation. Right. Now, this is what we got to be careful about, you know, his word. See, right. Elijah was using word. He right. sent his word by people. He didn't go do nothing himself. He had the power of the word. Right. And, and, yeah. and do what? Right. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Yeah. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Right. right. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right. This is what we got to do. We got to we got to change our thoughts and, and the way we see things. The one scripture in, in, in Psalms said, "What man is he that that love and life in many days that he may see good?" You got to first see something good. Don't always be looking for the bad thing to happen. What do it say? And that and that she put on the new man. Put on a new man. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Right. Wherefore, uh -huh. put in the way lying. Okay, that's the that's one of the main things. See, uh, if you stop lying, you'll stop dying. I, that used to be a saying in Israel. Don't lie. Read. Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Talk the truth to people. Don't be trying to butt them up. Read. For we are members one of yeah. another. Yeah, we all here together. We can't get away from that. We all assemble here in the spiritual treasures army together, read. Be ye angry uh -huh. and sin not. Now, it's all right to get angry, I guess, but you ain't supposed to sin behind it. What you going to sin for? You already messed up because you angry. And what do it say? Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Right. And that's the truth saying. If you don't do something bad before that sun go down, try to amend it. Try to make it right. Read. Neither give place to the devil. No, hey, and you know who that old man is. The devil, he going back and forth, to and forth, up and down in the earth, trying to do everything. Read. Let him that stole steal no more. Then don't be stealing. Right. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, yeah, you the got, thing which is good. You got to work with your own hands and do something, and get something accomplished. And what do it say? That he may have to give to him that need it. Right. And share with somebody. Don't keep it all for yourself. I believe that's why one of the reasons that I'm being blessed so much in spiritual church because I share with people. And what do it say? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Don't be, look, don't be talking bad stuff out of your mouth. You, can, you it's, it's, a, it's, it's bad enough to be thinking like that. Why are you going to let it proceed out of your mouth? And what do it say? But that which is good. Uh-huh. To the use of edifying, right? That it may minister grace unto the hearers, right? Amen. You let you have from people hear you, they have something to look forward to. Lift them up. That's Don't right. be trying That's to right. put them down. And when the next one, if I, thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to keep His commandments, right, and His statutes, right. which are written in this book of the law, uh huh. And if thou turn unto the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. 
For this commandment, which I command thee this day, is not hidden from thee, yeah. neither is it far off. Right. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, who shall go up for us to heaven? Ain't, nobody going, to ain't nobody going up there in the sky to get nothing. Yeah. Why are you going up there, Reed? That we may hear it and do it. Uh -huh. Neither is it beyond the sea. Right. That thou shouldest say, who shall go over the sea for us? Right. And bring it un unto us, yeah. that we may hear it and do it. Right. Yeah. But the word is very nigh unto See, thee. See, that word is yeah. right inside of you. In thy you, mouth. You got to make sure that the right thing is, is coming out of your mouth. Yeah. And in thy heart, uh -huh. that thou mayest do it. Then, then you got something to do. All right. I ask See, yeah. I have said before thee this day, uh -huh. and, good, and death and evil. Right. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to walk in his ways, right. and to keep his commandments, right. and his statutes, right. and his judgment, right. that thou mayest live and multiply. Uh -huh. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. And I'm a witness of that. Read. But if thine heart turn away, uh -huh. so that thou wilt not hear, it right. shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. And that's the worst thing to do. Don't turn your back Amen. and say you want to another read. Uh -huh. shall surely perish. I cross heaven and earth. Against you, therefore choose that both thou and thy seed may live. Yeah, all right, that, all right. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey him. To him is his voice, yeah. read. Yeah. For he is thy life, all right, and the length of thy days, right. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers, <coughs> to Abraham, <coughs> to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So what, what we at now? Now you are clean through the word. Now, this is the thing. I done said something. I'm like Bishop Page said, am I saying anything? You clean through the word. Yeah. Which I have All spoken right. unto you. I done spoke this stuff to you. Abide in me uh -huh. and I in you. All right. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Right. Except it abide in the vine. That's the king. We got to abide in him, Read. No yeah. more can ye. Except ye abide in me. Right. I am the vine. Ye yeah. are the branches. Right. That's us. He it's, that go ahead. Read. He that abideth in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. Right. That's what's gonna happen if you do what the God of Builder wants you to do. Read. For without me ye can do nothing. That's it. If a man abide not in me. He is cast forth as a branch. Look at there. And is yeah. withered. Right. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. They just burn them up. And read. they are burned. Mm -hmm. right. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will. Right. And it shall be done unto you. Right. And and I believe I'm a true living witness of that. That's getting close to the end, ain't it? And what agreement has uh, the temple of God with idols? Right. For ye are the temple of the living God. Right. Has, as God yeah. has said, I will dwell in them uh -huh. and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And that's it. Wherefore, yeah. come out from among them. And right. Now, that's, this is the main thing. Now, they talking all about this, this, this corona and all that stuff and going to the Christmas parade. And the God of Israel is telling us to come out from among that stuff. And be separate. And be separated because the man took the truck and went to the... Christmas parade and ran over a lot of people. So stay out of them crowds and stuff, Reed. Say the Lord, uh -huh. and touch not the unclean thing. Right. And I will receive you. Right. And will be a father unto you. Uh huh. And ye yeah. shall be my sons and daughters. Right. Say the Lord Almighty. Amen. 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 Then let them which be in Judea yeah. be into the mountain. Amen. All right. Matthew 26. Now we are our closing scripture. We're going to end it with this. I think I'm out of time. And blessed is he. Now I want to say to all the men, folks, all the he's in the house. Blessed is he. Whosoever shall not be offended in me. And don't be offended Amen. in me and the sheaves too. And may the God of heaven bless you. And may you. All right.
Let's give our own Reverend Down to have another hand. Yeah. If, you, if you was at your mailbox, you got something for yourself. And I thank the God of Israel. I do know the God of Israel because of what he has done for me. Yeah. What I got out is be obedient to the man that God of Israel has sent. And if you be obedient to him, you do exactly what he said. The God of Israel will be Be well with you. I'm not going to long the time. I'm going to turn to the public service over the hands of my assistant pastor over here, Ella Hawthorne Smith. Let's give him a hand as he comes forward. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. God. I rise to give out the Holy Father, King of all this. Truly thank the God of this allowing me to be out here. Truly thank the God of this allowing you to be out here. Truly thank the God of this for Reverend the hair and the beautiful message that he gave us. And I'm thank the God of this that my wife came out and been instructed the mother, Mother Child Zed, and thank the God of this for the King of all Israel. And truly, we serve the great and mighty God of Israel. And he's one God. He's the Father of all, above all, through all, and he's in us all. And that's what we serve today. And I'm thanking the God of Israel that we got a lot of quite a few. Today, I'm going to turn the first service into the hands of the pastor, temple number two, of Jeffrey. And let's give him a hand. Amen. <laughs> I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I'm thankful to God this today for my life. Thankful for you and for your life. And always thankful that he allows us to come together once again to give thanks and praise to his holy name. And I'm thankful for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, Israel, and be glad in it. Because like I always say, the God of Israel thought enough for you and I to share his day with us. We've got a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, so right. always stop along the way. Give we'll thanks and praise to Almighty God of Israel. Yeah. All his blessings, his grace, and his mercy that yeah. he has bestowed yeah. upon each and every one of us. All right. yeah. And I'm thankful for the man of God yeah. in this generation. Amen. On Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, the oh, yeah. king of all Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Man that laid down his life. Yeah. That you and I might have a right back to the tree of life. I'm thankful for yeah. the king. Thankful for Israel, the world. Especially thankful for temple number two. I'm going to bring forth the assistant overseer, but he wants his wife to come forth and sing for him. Yeah, right. So let's receive him. I worship you, 
I worship you. All right. You are here. All right. Touching every heart. I worship you, you, you. I worship you. Yeah, yes, the way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper, Lord God, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Nobody like you, Israel, a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Nobody like you, Israel, a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, my God, that is who you are. All right. Yeah. 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 I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. First, I want to thank the God of Israel for my life, health, and strength, for being in my right mind. Amen. I want to thank him for giving you those same blessings we all can gather ourselves together right here in service of a true and a living God. Yes. Let's yeah. give Reverend Don O'Hare yeah. another round of applause. Yeah. 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 Came in late, but, but I, I really enjoyed him. And uh, I'm always thankful for the man of God that taught me, Bishop Allen Cox. Very, very thankful for the man of God that's teaching me now. Our king, Bishop Bobby J. Davis. Yeah. I'm thankful for the queen of Israel, standing by his side. An example. Yeah. Amen. We need examples, Israel. Yeah. Thank you for her, Elder Bride, Mother Gloria Davis. Yeah. Right. I'm very, very thankful for the emeritus overseer, Bishop Tillman Oliver and his wife. And I'm glad to be out with my wife. All right. And uh, I just want to take the time to thank uh, all those that sent their prayers, some financial gifts, whatever. To the appreciation that the Southern District held for me, I was totally caught off guard, but uh, it was really an outpouring of love, and me and the wife, we truly, truly appreciated it. All right. uh, it, was, it was moving in my spirit, you know, and people remembered stuff that I had totally forgot about. But, but, but uh, the God of Israel is due all the glory. Amen. He uses you and I as instruments. To get his message, his comfort, his love, and his demonstration of his power yeah. to his people yeah. right. through you and I. Yeah. And as long as we believe on whom God has sent, where the word of a king is, yeah. there is power. Amen. I really wanted scriptures of Reverend Donald had caught my attention. And he just read over it, but it was a good, good scripture. Yeah. And it goes along with, uh, do you know? The God of Israel. And that scripture said, what agreement? <laughs> and I thought about it. What agreement has the temple of God with idols? And then it said, for ye are the temple of the living God. Now, don't bother nobody, Bishop Beaver. Do you have an agreement with idols? You know what an agreement is like? It's like, you know, you're going to come up with an excuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> About why it's okay to keep this idol here. <laughs> you know, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't provide nothing for you spiritually, right. but it tickles your flesh. Or so you like it. So if somebody hit at it, you you get a little attitude because hey, leave that alone. All right. That's your little yeah. grievance. Yeah. But the God of Israel said he's gonna bring every work in the judgment. And every secret thing. And then it's gonna start, it's gonna start at your door. Yeah. They said, they said, judgment going to start at the house of God. And they said, the man that brought the doctor said, pull yeah. pitch first. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. ain't no need nothing like you ain't got them. Oh, yeah. Have, have you made any agreement? Agreement is, well, I might have made an agreement. Let's talk about Mother Banks came to me. Don't bother nobody. Uh -huh. Talk about yourself. It's okay if I get to church at 9.15. I know some of these schools start at 9 o'clock, but they ain't going to be done with the open. 
So long as I get there and be, because service from me start to the left. But actually, I have to be an example to the member. Right. So if it's okay for the pastor to come at 9.15, yeah. it is okay for everyone to come at 9.15, right? So then who is going to start Sunday school? Right? I'm just using something small. We make little agreements all the time with ourselves to soothe our own conscience from not making the necessary happen to having the necessary discipline, amen, to stand as we shoot. Yeah. 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 There you go, sir. Yeah. Keep the command. Right. And these agreements cause us not to operate at a more committed and dedicated level. Yeah. Yeah. Now, sometimes we just say, well, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I ain't bothering nobody. I love people. I help and all this. But are you doing your best? Yeah. Because it's there. All your all your heart, all your mercy, all your back, all your soul, and all your strength. Why is it to say that? Then ain't nothing left for the flesh. I know some like to say ain't nothing left for the for the devil, but the devil ain't nothing but your flesh. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's all. Just your flesh when it rises up, go to the mirror, and you can identify the devil. Come on. Amen. It ain't nothing but that which is adversarial to that which is good and right. So then once we realize this, we go back and we do an examination. What agreement? <laughs> what agreement have you made with I? And when you give out idle words, it's an idle too, just spelt different. One is I-D-O-L and one is I-D-L-E. Now you put the car in idle, you can push the gas all day. It ain't going nowhere. Right? right? Every idle word, we're going to give account of. So this is a great lesson. Do you know the God of the It's an internal question. You can ask it without opening your mouth. And if you really know him, you know one thing to do, say, too? He's a good God, a great God, but it also says a terrible thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, to fall into the hands man of a living God. Mm -hmm. It would have been better for you not to have known the truth mm -hmm. than to have known it and disobeyed. Mm -hmm. So we got to be careful. Mm -hmm. He's a great God. He's a merciful God. You know, he looks beyond yeah. our faults and yeah. sees how our needs. But I wonder, is that for mm -hmm. I think one writer said, at the time of this ignorance, <laughs> God winked at you. Mm -hmm. But now, he's calling all men to repent, yeah. amen, yeah. and have love for the truth. Yeah. So, so this means if it's true and you know that you can do better, we all should do better. Right. Amen. Right? And I come here every Tuesday, and I'm about to, I got the, the regulars is down. We know just about who's going to be here. Yeah. And I think that in order for us to prove that it's a benefit to it, we should be able to stand during time of trial. Yeah. Yeah. We should be able to stand, because if you ain't getting... See, they told me if you work overtime, your check is bigger. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was taught. Yeah. You know? So if we here dedicate myself, what's what is the bigger check? When the trial comes, yeah. we pass the test. Yeah. I hope you gave yeah. it something. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm not gonna put on the time. I, I'll take this, I think this this part right here real serious. I really do. You know, and I have the honor and the privilege once again to come before you and present to you the only living man God got in this generation to lead his people Israel. You know, a lot of people question me about that. And they be talking about all the other biggest people and this and that. I ain't talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about what I know. Yeah, that's it. Just speak what I know. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And testify what your eyes I'm not worried about the mother folks. God done sent us the prophet, the Christ in our generation. People question me about that. Well, I, it's the anointed one. I believe Bishop Bobby J. Davis is anointed with something that no other man has on this planet. Now, that's what I believe. And I really don't think you should be preaching if you don't believe in me. Right. Now that's just me. Now. That he, he's a merciful king. But I'm just telling you what I think, okay? Because you got to believe your leader is a, is able to lead you. That's why if you go to college and you think the professor can't teach you, 
You're going to be out there with the professor, and learning will cease to happen. So I'm so thankful for this man here because what I see his work. I ain't talking about his talk, his work. Impeccable and outstanding to me. A leader that cares and loves the people that God sent him to me. And it's an honor anytime I'm able to come up here and present him. So we're going to get ready and have the choir to come back to your hearts. And after which, I'm going to stand and raise my hand and we're going to greet the only living man God got in this generation to lead Israel. The king of Israel, Bishop Bobby J. Dick. Let's receive him. It was early morning, just about the break of day. The gospel came into my life, said it washed all those sins away. I started running, I started shouting, and I had no time to doubt him. You know that I have got nothing but the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Well, it was early. One morning, just about the break of day, the doctor came into my life and washed all the sins away. I started running, I started shouting, and I had no time to doubt you.
Not that God is in the sky, but that God is in each and every one of us. Amen. Talking about the Spirit of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. That's all right. Amen. God, for that thing, my friends over here. Lord, thank you for our sister over here. Yes, sir. Richard Beavers, Richard Jordan. All right. Amen. Yeah. I was thinking of the scripture that Jesus said to his disciples, you know, you're going to be persecuted for my name's sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And yeah. it's still true. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we thank you guys for our sister pastor. Thank you for our sister pastor. Something, yes, also a uh, pastor, right. <laughs> Thank you for our queen, amen. And each and every one of you that's here, amen. We're glad to be back. We had a wonderful time, amen. And, and uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful tribute for our, our, our sister overseer, this bishop down south there, amen. And uh, he deserved every, every, every bit of it, amen. And we thank the God for that. Thank him for being here. Thank him for those that. Bishop Mack, I understand we're here, and Bishop, Bishop Oliver, and also Bishop uh, uh, Page, and all the rest of you. We're here Sunday. Yes, we said they had a good time. Yes, we Amen. Yeah. So we had a good time all over Israel. Amen. Amen. Yes, and that's how the Spirit's supposed to be. Yes, Amen. Because there's no division in God. Amen. Amen. One Spirit. Amen. And we thank the God for that. We thank you for the house rocker. Yeah. And he got the shouting yes, tonight. Yes, <laughs> Amen. And also Dr. Hare, really enjoyed him. Amen. Amen. He, he, he come out of a bag. <laughs> I talked about Jane Brown. Papa yeah. got a brand new bag. <laughs> Amen. I really enjoyed it. Even with the distraction that he received. He went on preach. Amen. Now, thank the God for him. Uh, I'd like to thank those in the kitchen. Thank for uh, uh, Sister Vern. I understand he had a great time at, the, at her birth anniversary. Amen. Deservedly so. We thank God for all those things. Amen. God is good. Good is God. And and and, and, our, and our theme says what? Do you know him? You know, and now you answer that for yourself. Amen. I answer for me and you answer for you. Amen. And how would you know if he ain't never done nothing for you? And you recognize who it was. Amen. It's good to know. Amen. So we've been lost. It, Bishop Coach just said, they lost balls and how we. Amen. If we didn't know the God of Israel. Amen. And we thank the God with the Father. It's it, it good to be here. Good to be back. Like I said, tomorrow, at, uh, and the deacons will be down. We're going to meet the deacons tonight a little bit. Shortly after service. And also tomorrow, they'll be down here at um, 11 o'clock, Cameron said, um, doing a little work down here. All right? On this coming Sunday, we have a general church meeting uh, after service. Amen. It's, it can be it can be short as you want it, as long as you want it. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Some people talk a lot, so but we we here. There's no there's no afternoon service program. I understand Sunday, is it? No. So so we can take our time and and, and talk about things that's going on, talk about the future things that's happening, uh, some great things that's happening. Amen. Yeah. And the guy really going to see us all through it. All right. uh, and we certainly thank the guy really for that. Uh, anybody feel good? Right. Amen. Feel that going on? Right. Amen. Right. You're not confused. Uh, you know the God really, don't you? Amen. <laughs> Amen. So they just sent out thoughts for the one that's sick and shut in the hospital. I think Sister Gail is, is in the hospital. Um, let us uh, send out prayer for the family. Uh, uh, Ellis Twilly, the loss of uh, his first cousin. Your first right. cousin, eh? Amen. And also, anybody else that lost loved ones, uh, because all of us in here have been a, uh, been a receiving end of that. Amen. Amen. I think no one in here haven't lost somebody. Amen. Yeah. But we realize that God is still able. Yeah. Amen. Amen, King. And he's a, he comforted us. Yeah. Amen. By knowing the truth. Yeah. Amen. You know, people don't know the truth. They think the person said, now there's some graveyard somewhere. Amen. Ain't nothing out there but the body. Huh? Amen. But we know God is a spirit. Amen. And the spirit don't die. Right. Amen. We die. But the spirit don't. Amen. Amen. But we're fighting to live. Amen. Amen. Not in the spirit, but in our, in our body. Amen. That's Israel's hope. Amen. Amen. That's the hope that the world says is impossible. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we think and believe that that's that impossible with the world is possible with God. Yeah. Amen. Right, Amen. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I, I, mean, I mean, what are we living for if we don't believe in the higher hope? 
Right. Amen. Anybody can stop eating and die. Right. <laughs> Amen. But we believe in a hope beyond beyond hope. Amen. The hope that is seen ain't hope no way. Right. Amen. Right. Right. You can see it, why you got to hope for it. Yeah. Amen. Right. And we mix it with faith, which the Bible says is the substance of things hoped for. But no evidence. Right. Right. Amen. Do you know the God of Israel? Oh, yeah. Do you have evidence? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Right. Isn't that right? right? I got some evidence. Amen. Yes, I blame that on me, on somebody else. I see. Yes, Amen. I see him work a window for other folks. Yes, Amen. That's evidence. All right. Amen. Amen. Anyway, I ain't gonna get started, but I, right. <laughs> I feel all right. Yes, sir. Yeah, I feel all right because God is all right. Amen. And He makes my day. Don't He make your day? Oh, yeah. Amen. You know that, that, that you know we 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 know and realize that uh, we're we 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 sort of the end the world, but not of the world. Amen. Yeah. Right. And that's how it is. Yeah. And we ain't trying to kill no devil either. Right. Amen. Right. So the devil is right there with God. <laughs> Amen. But, but we don't want to walk in his spirit, walk in the God of Israel's spirit. Amen. Peter Hayward said, you try to kill the devil, you might kill yourself. Yeah, right. Right. Did, he, did he say that? <laughs> Amen. But walk in the God of Israel and let God take care of it. Amen. He's the one got to lead us and guide us. Amen. And make everything all right for us. Amen. And if we knew it, everything, we wouldn't have to have God. Amen. 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 Right? <laughs> if I got the answer, why would I depend on the God? Right. Amen. No, I depend on the God of Israel. Amen. The spirit of the most high God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Anyway, I feel all right about it because, you know, I'm telling you, it's something, it you know, and, and, and it, it's a, it's a, you got to have a determined mind to stay there. Right. Amen. Right. Because things, so many things will bring you down to a particular right. level. Right. But you got to fight to stay there. Right. And you got to refuse to go down. Right. Amen. You got to right. refuse to be unhappy. You got to refuse to have hate in your heart. Yeah. You got to refuse the whole thing on folk. Yes, Amen. Amen. Right. That don't mean it won't lead you up there. Amen. The scripture says they led Jesus up on the mountain. Oh, and people said he was God. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That lets you know he wasn't. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Amen. Amen. And, he, and, and lead us, us too. Amen. But we got to know who God is. Amen. Fall out and worship me, they say. Sir. You don't tip the Lord your God. Right. Amen. Right. I'm only going to serve the God of Israel. Yeah. Right. And we got to have that same determined mind. Right. Amen. Because trouble may come in your life anytime. Right. Amen. Amen. And I'll tempt you. Amen. The doubt the God of Israel. Amen. But you got to have your own mind made up. Do you know it? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I don't care what you do. I'm holding on yeah. Amen. Yeah. to the God of Israel. Yeah. That's the man you got to have. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We can't fool ourselves. Yeah. It, it trapped all over the place. Yeah. Amen. But we got to trust in the God of Israel. Yeah. Amen. Do I walk through the fire? Yes, Amen. I ain't going to be burned. Right. Right. You just said a flame kill upon me. Right. Amen. Oh, he promised me I'm the Lord your God. Yeah. I'm the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Don't you know he's our Savior? Yeah. He'll save us, won't you? Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. You got to trust in him. Yeah. And give him time, Mama yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how long it takes. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you're going to be tried in the fire. Right. Yeah. Amen. But that's all right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You got a Savior. Yeah. And he's sweet, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So Amen. let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Amen. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. So in my father's house. Amen. Not mine. Amen. Amen. In my father's house. Amen. That's room for everything you got. Amen. 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 Let me share it. No, 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 no. Amen. It's all right. Amen. We thank God for that too. I mean, I just, I just can't help it sometimes. <laughs> you know? You know, I said to myself, get it all right. I won't say a few words. Yeah. Uh, I, must, I, 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 I was lying to myself. <laughs> Amen. I always say God is in charge. Yeah. When God is in charge, you got to let yourself go free. Yeah. Yeah. Take me, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. People don't like me, but don't worry about it. Yeah. Amen. You like you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're going to be all right. Amen. All right, Through many storms and dangers, we're still going to be all right. Amen. Anyway. 
Is he all right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you done something for you? Yeah. <laughs> Can you be a witness? Yeah. Amen. That he's all right. He's all right. Amen. I was down one day. He raised me up. Amen. I lost love one one day. And he gave me comfort. Amen. Do you know he's all right? Yeah. Can you be a witness tonight? Yeah. The God of God is all right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Turn me around. Nobody. Yeah. Turn me around. Because he's all right. all right. I can be a witness. Can you be a witness? Yeah. Let's praise him tonight. Yeah. Yeah. The God is all right. Yeah. He's all right. 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 He was in the church there. He's all right. <laughs> How you know, Bishop? Because he came to my rescue one day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Ain't that right, Mother Fulton Mary? Do you remember what he done for you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're down and out, he came to your rescue. Yeah. He lifted you up yeah. and let you see the light again. Yeah. 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 Amen. Somebody better pull my coattail. <laughs> no, Amen. No, Amen. He's all right. We got so much to be thankful for. Yes, Amen. We Ain't we? Yes, and nothing to complain about. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's blessing us right now. Yes. Amen. Receive your blessing. Yes. Amen. He's healing us right now. Yes. Amen. Yes. Receive your healing. Yes. He's making a way for you right now. Yes. Receive it. Here I am. Here I am. Make me a moment. Amen. 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 Come too far to turn around. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Oh, let us sing, sing, God, the power of the Lord is here. Oh, let us sing, sing, God, the power of the Lord. Lift up your head, don't be afraid, oh let us see all the power of the Lord. Give out the Holy Father, King of all liberals. Let's give the King of Israel another round of applause. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful words of inspiration. Yeah. Amen. He's all right. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah. Amen. Well, that thing is hard to stop, baby. Yeah, it is. Woo! Yes, sir. Let it soak in. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Did you receive your healing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, so did. Hey. Amen. Let's praise it. Yes, sir. We're going to ask you to say with your feet flat on the floor. The palm of your hands in a receptive position. Do we have a demonstrated schedule for this service? You know, I'm going to ask our own pastor, temple number two, our own Dr. Finley. 
Amen. Let's give him a hand. Again, I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the God of Israel, which is my reasonable service. Let us sing the demonstration song. And what the God of Israel gives me, I will gladly pass it on. Please. Let him breathe. Oh. The God of Israel has not shown me any hurt, harm, or danger to befall anyone under the sound of my voice. But while I was sitting there, this kept coming to me. If your heart don't condemn you in the thing that you do, the God of Israel will not con condemn you also. But if your heart condemns you, it is sin. May the God of Israel bless you and keep you. Thank you. We thank our own Elder Dr. Finley for the wonderful demonstration. All right. take, heed, take heed to it and get in the spirit of it. It will lead, guide, and protect you and keep you till you return to your various sacred temples again. I said right now we're going to turn this part of the service over to the assistant pastor here at Temple Number 1. Let's receive him, our own Elder Hawthorne Smith. Amen. Thank you. Again, I rise to give out the Holy Father, King of all this truth. Thank the God of us another beautiful, beautiful service, another beautiful, beautiful day. And thank the King of all this and the Queen, and also the Sister Nova Sayer, for being out with us. At this time, we're going to call for our announcers, call for our officers, and soon we're going to be turned out and thank the God of Israel for the blessing that He bestowed upon all of us. Amen. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to read unto the announcements. <laughs> no.
dismissed by our own Reverend Dino Air. Excuse me. Right. Rise, give it on the Holy Father, King of all Israel. The guest been informed that Deacon Harvey here is asking for the church to go with him in prayer. His sister, her daughter, and her granddaughter are suffering from COVID right about now. I love him. God bless his name. Now may the peace. Now may the peace in the love, and the love of the great God of Israel. Of the great God of Israel. In the love of His Son. In the love of His Son. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the communion and the communion of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. All be in. All be in. And go with us all. And this meeting. May the God of